Hello everyone and welcome to my studio in Montreal. Uh, we have a 40 people right now and really I'm happy about that because you know in Canada and like around the world, not everywhere unfortunately, uh, we move the uh, one hour, uh, you know, just change the hour time. And because of that, a lot of people uh, lost weight or coming early, so it's, it's really a nightmare. So for all the people who now connected to my YouTube channel, thank you very much for your timing. It's, it's uh, just, just amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we are uh, in Monday and today we have a live stream. And as usual, I have, you see the technical support. I hear all your questions. That means uh, if you have any questions, you need any information or just want to talk, feel free just to tape it in the chat. I will hear you and can answer so that that way we can communicate and that's what i'm really like so uh today i have uh, two surprises for you uh first of all just uh this saturday we finished the uh, workshop uh, in the sketching academy about the narrow street in Giron. it was a uh, very interesting and special because you know it's my project and that's why I can keep the very small groups uh, for the Zoom workshops. And I'm really happy to do that because in that case, you know, we don't have to mute and mute the microphones. We can just speak and it's always huge pleasure. So uh, in one month, uh, in the beginning of the December, it will be another one workshop for in, in the Sketching Academy project, uh, three hours. And we will talk about the mist in the city. Uh, you know, normally, uh, remember how we make the painting if we're going for the plein air or painting from the photo if we're talking about the cityscape. Normally, we're doing it like that. We make a first washing, let's say, uh, a light. After that, nice shadows, details, sign, cell. So that's simple steps. Uh, sometimes we have a very special weather condition, like, for example, uh, mist fog or rain cloudy days so for this we have to rebuild our plan and find a way how to explain not just the texture of the mist or texture of the rain how to explain the feeling about that place and that's always interesting challenge i'm really like to do that so if i'm going to the plan air uh, special in the workshops and have unpredictable weather condition it's always pleasure and challenge to find the best way to make your project. By the way, uh, today our city is Prague and uh, not a regular view, very interesting. I will show how it's look like. You will enjoy. Look at that. It's just brilliant. By the way, I will be in Prague uh, in the end of the August, in the end of the summer 2024. It will be three days workshop. Um, <clears throat> one day in the studio, two days on the plein air. I'm not promising you to see, uh, to be on the same place with that gorgeous view, but uh, definitely we're going to the, you know, the Prague can be painted each corner, everywhere we have a beauty. So it should be very, very interesting. Well, you know our reference photo, what we're gonna use today. Uh, <clears throat> it's a sunrise or sunset, by the way, it's an interesting question. Uh, it depends. Uh, I know the difference. Uh, it's it's the question of the colors, and it's always your decision what kind of feeling you want to put there. So let's say we go into the sunrise. I will t I will tell you what, what's the difference later. Uh, and uh, surprise number two: uh, how normally uh, we create the painting uh, kind of that? Normally we paint in wet and wet it's the best solution you know the pigments move in itself and create the very soft blending uh, that's what normally we use that technique we use for the uh, painting mist or, or some soft uh, silhouettes like that this time surprise is i want to show you how to do the same job in the dry brush completely different idea just remember it's not the not the, not the goal to copy that photo or put it on our watercolor paper. Idea is find a way how to transform it to the watercolor language and that's make this job 
interesting. So as I say, uh, any questions, just type it in the chat. Uh, talking about the colors, you have a list of my colors, what I use today. Today, unpredictably, uh, a lot of colors, uh, six. So if you, uh, we look at my, if you look at my palette, so I have here Indian yellow, quinacridone deep gold, quinacridone sienna, it's almost gone, but it's enough for painting, pyrene violet, cobalt, and indigo. So that's the colors what we uh, use uh, for today, six colors. Uh, normally I, I'm, I'm trying to fit in like a four or five. Uh, this time I want to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, if uh, you don't have, for instance, my favorite pre violet, you can switch uh, to the alizarin crimson and mix the crimson with a little bit indigo and queen sienna. So that can be close, not that beautiful, but still useful. Uh, the paper is a Bao Hong Master Choice 15 by 15 inches. Uh, this is a rough paper. This is my, my favorite. I really like it. So I wet the back side and you can see I tape it here. So everything is ready. And what we should just start. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. I don't have to make the sketch for that. We can start to, to paint directly. Uh, it's a beautiful product, but if I make it a little bit different, uh, who cares? Uh, again, my job, what I feel here, I want to put my emotions about that uh, picture reference photo in, instead of the just uh, copy the architectural design or uh, or all that silhouettes feeling is more important so uh, the reference photo is right here you can see that uh, if you want to follow me so welcome and let's go Hello England, thank you for joining me today. That's great. So that, that's exactly Indian yellow. You see, I'm starting from this. This is my most brightly yellow color, what I want to use. Hello Canada. France, welcome to Montreal and to my studio. Look, it's very nice combination. You see, this is the uh, Queen of Sienna and Pyrrhon Violet. It's very rich uh, combination. Just look at that. Just gorgeous. Yeah, uh, I have a question about the colors in my palette. Uh, because it's visible for you now. Uh, first of all, you can find all the list of the colors right in the chat. Uh, and I repeat for you because it's visible what I'm mixing. This is the Indian yellow, quinacridone deep gold, quinacridone sienna, pyrene violet right here, cobalt and indigo. That's all what I need for today. Hello, friends. Hello, South Carolina. Wow, we have a people around the world. That's so cool. Hello, Montreal. My home city. Hello, Germany. Peru, wow, thank you for joining me today. I like that country. I was there two times and I always enjoy that visits. Bonjour, Quebec. And the first time now I'm starting to use the cobalt. The cobalt with the pure and violet give me the very nice rich purple. 
but I add inside a little bit, little bit green sienna, which make it brownish and softly. You see the Baokong paper, uh, the rough, what I'm using. Uh, first of all, it's a brilliant texture. Second one, you see it's very easy to wash out if I need it. It just perfectly works. Uh, this is the master choice, so it's very special paper. And what is really, really interesting for me there, the colors are extremely bright. It's because of the uh, texture and the very special glue. So then the painting dry normally it's always much lighter and we lost a lot of pigments on the bow honk it's always look very very fresh and cool we have a uh, 65 people if you don't mind please give us a like because that helps to other people to find that video so you see i use just the clear water uh, to blend it to my paper but it's still it's still dry brush because I use the texture of the paper somewhere uh, I can add a little bit yellowish pigments just to make it more interesting but uh, I'm very gently shading here very softly touch my paper that's exactly the dry brush strokes Good morning, Ohio. I never was there. Hello, Florida. Hello, Austria. Wow. Yeah, you have a middle of the day in Europe now. It's just morning in, in United States and Canada. Hello, Spain. So look, uh, it's still dry brush. I, I leave a lot of white here, which is unusual for the mist. You know, normally we make like a very soft blending on the wet on wet, but I want to introduce you a little bit different things just to make it more interesting. Hello, India. Hello, Julia. Hello, Australia, Western Australia. Uh, my favorite city, Perth. <laughs> that's interesting game. You see, that's pretty cold mix. This is a cobalt and pure violet. And a little bit sienna, I make the a nice oranges connection here. And after that, by the second layer, I will start to use this. So now I just have to blend everything together. Uh, the Baohong paper. Okay, where to find the Baohong paper? It depends uh, in which country you are living. Um, <clears throat> it's it's uh, interesting just type it in the chat uh, from which country you are and i will tell you where to find that paper and for all the people uh, who are <clears throat> for now on the instagram we have a, a right a right now live broadcasting in the youtube channel so you have a chance to join me to see full the video Hello Istanbul. So you see, 
it's a combination again between the dry brush and uh, soft washout what i will do now i just support everything what i did to take off the pigments make the soft connection on the bow hold paper it's easy to do that's what i'm really really like that paper okay uh kimberly uh in united states uh, you can find the bow hold paper uh on the uh, bleak dick store online it's not a problem at all uh, for other countries uh you know uh, if you are in europe uh, you can find the color stock company uh, Arte Miranda have that definitely that paper and surprise is in the two month uh, that paper will be available on my website uh, watercolorline.com and everywhere in Canada with a very very good price and in the few months it will be available in Europe almost everywhere because this paper deserve it definitely so I'm stop on that. I just make it dry and we go on to the next layer. You know, if you want to explain the space uh, in your landscapes, cityscapes, this time it's not like a small street. We have a huge space, big distance, some objects so far. Uh, just in your mind, build it for the uh, few plants. Uh, for now, I have a background. It's just a background. F and my next step, I'm starting to build the second line, second plan. And after that, the first plan. So these three plans help me to show the deep space hello italy hello japan i really appreciate it what you join me in that late time it's it's cool so instead of look, instead of the create the perfect shape, I still use my big brush, my favorite five lines brush, and I make shapes a little bit unfinished, uh, and that helped me to show the space in the mist. And that's why I don't want to make the sketch because for now I'm flexible. I decide where to put my towers if I need it, or I decide to ignore them. Everything's up up to me. It's cool. Full freedom. Hello, Indonesia. Welcome to Joy. And look. Uh, soft touching steel dry brush I just connect it to my background I don't want to see the perfect shapes it's just a mist uh, okay uh, the question about the bow hold paper you know um, <clears throat> if you like uh, to use uh, the dry brush strokes like me uh, the bow hog is just really the best for that plus uh, because it's completely new paper on the market uh, and completely new technology nothing to compare you know archer sanders uh, they're a little bit different but it's still the same technology 
how the company produced the paper. The Bao Hong, something different. And this paper hold water extremely long time. That's why for me, you know, I, I like to uh, slowly blend everything and control what happens special to use wash out on this paper. It's just very easy to do. And uh, you just have to try. Uh, for now, I use the Bao Hong like 70% uh, of my projects. I use the Bao Hong paper. I really like it. And if we're talking about the Sanders Water Fort, normally it's always uh, in my projects, it's always a rough paper. Uh, Bao Hong, I use the cold press and rough uh, in the same proportions because they are really, really nice. And the cold press, uh, very textured as well, a little bit softly, but still. And that's great. Good paper. So, any kind of project is great for this. Yes, uh, uh, I, I hear the question about the uh, paper on the dig bleed. Yes, the cold pressed paper uh, works perfectly. Just be sure what you order the Bao Hong Master Choice. Because the Bao Hong watercolor paper and the Bao Hong Master Choice, it's a completely different paper. So not the same. Like, you know, all other companies make a lot of different papers. You need exactly the Master Choice. That's the unique stuff. Okay, I hear the question about the colors. You know, uh, there is not that strong uh, recommendation from my side. You can use any kind of uh, mixes <coughs> if you feel what that will be good for your project. No problem. Just my advice, uh, use the transparent colors. That's the important thing because you see, I put uh, one layer on another one layer. And the truth is, it doesn't matter how many layers I create if they are transparent it still will be look nice so that's just one recommendation what i have use the transparent colors that's all what we need and for all the people who are now on the facebook you can go to the youtube and for now we have a broadcasting alive right here in my studio you have a chance to join me and to see all the process thank you So, hello Sweden. You see, uh, I, I use the water and still it's dry brush. So I, I blend everything and connect together and I use the texture of the paper. So I like that game very much. And I like to paint without sketching by pencil. It's, it give me a lot of freedom. I always can decide uh, what I want to do, where I want to do that. That's so cool. No limitation. And slowly I add a little bit more uh, reddish mixes. We go down. Hello, Poland. Thank you, Kimberly. Yeah. You know, uh, first of all, yes, for sure, you know, I'm using the Daniel Smith. Uh, and idea is it's a very concentrated colors. You need just a little bit uh, pigments to make that bright mixes. And I'm really like that. Uh, it's just gorgeous, so bright, so colorful. And I love that. Honestly, I have no idea how I can paint without the Daniel Smith and that's truth. Because uh, they they are transparent, colorful, bright, just brilliant. Uh, okay, I got the question about my paper. You know, uh, inside it's full of water. 
outside you see it's dry i can touch safely touch the paper i still feel the water inside but it's it's dry enough to to apply the second layer and you see sometimes i blend it by water and still it's still uh, stable so that's pretty dry Um, you know, yes, I, I got the, your comments about the Bao Hong in Indonesia. Look, um, the Bao Hong is, is a new paper, uh, and I believe soon it will be everywhere because a lot of artists switch to that paper. It's it's really revolution things. So I believe it will be available soon. But what you say, uh, it's not the master choice. The master choice, it's a different technology. You know, I was like, I was in the China, on the factory. I saw uh, what they did, how they did the paper, and it's it's just really, really amazing. It's something new. An idea how they create the paper. It's new, again, it's very, very unusual things. I like it. That's why end result unusual as well. Just different thinking. Hello, India. Hello, Greece. Hello, Connecticut, and thank you very much for your kind words. I appreciate it. So slowly I'm starting to use the uh, indigo in my mixes to make uh, some parts darker. And I'm still prefer to use that big brush, which make it uh, everything what I'm doing a little bit uh, loose itself. Okay, I got the message about the reference photo. Here is it. So you can see just, uh, please, uh, that's why I'm always afraid to use the reference photo like that. People starting to copy that, don't do this. We just uh, make the feeling about the reference, but not the copy the reference. Just be careful. But yeah, for sure, if you need it, it's there. That's a color mix I like very much it's just a cobalt and pure and violet it's a very rich purple mix really nice and just a little bit sienna inside make it very nice brownish <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Thank you very much for your kind words. And what I'm really like to do, you know, after that, after I build some shapes, just make soft vibration, like connect it to your background, make it a little bit unfinished, and that leave a more space for imagination for the people who look at your paintings. Just a little bit mist. You know, it's a painting about the mist. And for sure, wash out.
Hello, Malaysia. You see, I paint this just like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago and still possible to wash out and take off the pigments. That's brilliant. That paper drying so slowly and keep all the colors very bright. Again, if you have any questions, you can just type it in the chat. Uh, I can see your questions, I can hear your questions, and we can talk. We have uh, 90 people now uh, join me. Thank you very much for that. I appreciated your time. And uh, if you don't mind, put the like on the video because that helps uh, to make this video visible for all the people. Because, you know, always after I finish the, uh, the demo, we have a lot of messages. Oh, I missed it. Uh, I lost it. I, I'm planning to be there, but too late or something like that. So. And sometimes people couldn't see that on the YouTube. Sometimes uh, the new technology is uh, it's a really nightmare. So if you can help people to find it, uh, it will be great. Thank you for your kind words. You know, uh, I will be in that place, uh, as I say, in the end of the summer next year. And I'm not sure what we're going to make the plan air on that place. It depends on how comfortable it will be for the group. But definitely I'm going to that place uh, myself in person to see that gorgeous view. It's just, just brilliant. Uh, your question about the tape this is my tape uh, so I created you know because I like the black tape it's very strong glue uh, you can find this tape on my website it's in the two different sizes uh, more tiny I use for the uh, sketchbook a bigger one for the painting it's uh, one inch uh, that means 25 millimeters so this is a 18 and it's you see it's like uh, my painting already frame it that's why I like that uh, uh, tape First of all, it's very strong and hold the wet paper. Second one, I don't see the other colors around. I don't see even dirt from my paint. I see it's like a like a mud, like a passepartout. It's done, and I see only my paper. It's helped me to concentrate exactly on the colors what I'm using, and that's the black frame. I always look great, so that's good solution. That's why I created because nothing like that on the market unfortunately but it's available on my website <laughs> thank you, Svetlana. Thank you very much. You kind. Uh, last thing, you see, it, everything is still wet. Uh, I just use the uh, pointy brush to make some touching to finish the project, just a little bit.
because the paper is still wet uh, just a few touching uh, and you know the pigments going to blend themselves and that's make all the process very natural I see the picture what you see on the screen uh, and on my camera it's a really huge contrast uh, you see the colors uh, not exactly like I have here I have a little bit more oranges not that red and uh, uh, the contrast on, on the camera so strong in reality it's a little bit more softly painted but then I finish it uh, I post the finished uh, picture on the Instagram and the Facebook so you will see it in real colors if you want to repeat the same thing that we almost done and it just uh, last trick um, I put the bright colors somewhere really really bright and leave them to blend okay uh, thank you for the question about the angle of my paper you know uh, it's almost flat the angles like around maybe three four degrees so it's something like this I do use the gravity but just a little bit so it's almost flat uh, the soft angle make the movement of my water predictable and that's all what I need but it's pretty stable and that's exactly what I need. I'm normally I'm always except the plein air painting on that angle just something really really soft and the uh, last step as usual So we're done with that. Uh, as I promised you, uh, later I put it on the um, Instagram in uh, Facebook. You will see everything in the right colors and the right balance. And just for the people who joined me a little bit late, I want to remind you that in one month, it will be a three hours Zoom workshop in the Sketching Academy about the mist in the city. And at that workshop, first of all, I, I'll tell you the idea how to build the palette and make the selection of the colors depends on the project what you're looking for and how to represent the mist in the three completely different techniques and you will decide which one is the best depends on the, uh, your subject and your feeling about that subject so it should be a very interesting workshop and uh, if you want if you prefer a uh, workshop in person we will be in Prague in the end of the August 2024 with a small group one day in the studio two days on the plein air and we'll see uh, that beautiful city which just made for the for the watercolor for the painting so if you have a chance join me it should be very very interesting thank you very much for your time uh, for your support so what you spend almost one hour no we're pretty fast so 40 minutes with me on this Monday I really appreciate it and if you have any questions any comments you can just tape it in the in the chat after the video and no worries i'm always will find the time to answer you thank you and definitely see you next monday bye bye